what is up you guys it is parker here with hey, deco exchange y'all we've got another great tutorial out today and i just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel like the video down below and at the very least y'all leave us a comment and let us know what you think hope you enjoy so we're doing a mardi gras flower so y'all in this one i knew i wanted to use a mesh that wasn't very thick and so i spray painted the board gold just in case you can see through it. Y'all, I'm currently putting one zip tie in every hole on the board. I did grab some black zip ties tonight. That way you guys can actually see them on the board. So right now, I am just loading from the back, then I'll close all the zip ties. All right, last one. All right, so I also did a flat styrofoam disc um, this one I hand painted with latex paint. Then when it was dry, then I spray painted it with the glitter blaster. Well, I do want to get the pipe cleaner glued on here early so that it has time to dry. All right, so I just took a little piece of foam. Gonna grab a pipe cleaner, add our hot glue, Get our foam over it. All right, now I'm gonna use my needle nose pliers to insert this little stem into the foam because I'm not interested in burning myself. All right, now I'm just gonna put this over to the side until we're ready to use it. All right, let's close all these. All right, so you're gonna wanna tighten these until you hear the little click. If you don't hear the click, your zip tie is probably backwards. This is the small board, so there are 36 zip ties on the board. We're gonna cut them into 10 by 10 squares. So we're gonna cut these at 10 inches. No special tool, just our rotary cutter because on this one, we are going to be able to hide our mesh. So let's try out this fold that Stacy showed me. All right, so you take your 10 inch piece with the curl pieces popping up, then you fold it corner to corner, okay? Then you're gonna stretch it, uh, stretch it in the center. Then you're gonna fold this corner down here to that corner. And then you're gonna fold this corner down here. So now whenever you're looking at your pedal, there's no, let me scrunch it real quick. There's no cut edges showing, so it's never gonna fray. All right, let's get our pedal in here and zip tie it. Look. So, we'll make some and see how it goes. Stretch it, hold it, fold it. That's right. I don't know if the stretch does anything, but she showed me to stretch it, so we're stretching it. All right, curl side up, corner to corner. Give it a nice little point. Fold over, tip to tip, and then fold it over, tip to tip. Y'all, some of my little end pieces that are kind of long, so I am folding those back. I mean, we're halfway done, even though we've only done the outside. Right? So on the inside, there's eight 
and 8 and 4. On the outside, there's 16. All right, so let's start on our next layer. Total 36, that's right. Hopefully that's all we need. Wish you could see more purple with the fold. If you wanted to see more purple, just fold it the other way. Did I heat seal the edges? I did not. There's no reason to heat seal them because we're folding all the cut edges to the bottom. Y'all, it's covering fun. Look, just fun. All right, let's get our four petals right in the center done. Y'all, on these right here in the center, I am kind of fluffing them out a little bit just to give them a little bit more coverage. Y'all, I think we are going to have to go in there. Let's add the last one, but I don't know. There's kind of a big gap right here that I'm not a fan of. So y'all look, I think we have to do the adjoining spots on this one. So you guys, I didn't cut too many. I had four extra and that's how many we're going to add. All right. So we're just going to connect the holes here so that we can get four more petals right in the center. All right, so we've got our four extra petals in the center. It's got that nice little curl. We're gonna fold it corner to corner. We're gonna pull out that pinch a little bit. Then we're gonna fold this corner to that one and this corner down. Pinch it so that all of the cut edges are down here in your little grasp. And no cut edges will show on your wreath. All right, here's our flower petals. Yeah, it looks much better in the center now. So this is just a styrofoam circle from the Dollar Tree. Uh, painted it, then spray painted it with the same green glitter. So you could use that in your center. So if you didn't want to use a flat circle, 
you could take a Mardi Gras ornament. Y'all, this is just a green Christmas ornament. And glue that right down in the center if we wanted to. You could take a gold ornament. Glue that right down in the center if you wanted to. Or you could take a styrofoam block like this. And you could take Mardi Gras beads. Take it and then glue it in the spot. And then just like you would with the glitter rope or whatever else. And just keep going in a circle until you had it all outlined. Glue it all down. That's way too much work for me. This took about 30 seconds. Right on, right on par with how much time I want to spend making the center. Just add our pipe cleaners through the two holes. Pull it down nice and tight and twist it off. 